Hello everybody, this is Dr. Cole. Sunday evening, uh, October 18th, as we move now into week 10 of Humanities 2333 for the fall term. Now, what we have on the syllabus this week, everybody, we are winding up our consideration of specifically religious issues, and then we'll move on and we'll be concerned with largely with ethics for the remainder of the term. Now, going back before midterm, you will recall we looked at the traditional arguments for the existence of God, and then theodicy, the problem of evil. Then after we took the midterm exam last week, we were looking at what I called the problem of religious language, which we can also express as the problem of religious experience, because when we use religious language, Generally, we're talking about religious experience. Now, what we have on the syllabus for this week is existentialism. And that's related to what we did last week, because we mentioned to you last week, as you looked at those class notes, uh, one of the thinkers we were concerned with who made a proposal, uh, shall we say, about the issue of religious language was Kierkegaard. Now, for this week on the syllabus, in the class notes, I believe, for Lecture 10. We have material coming largely from the work of uh, Gordon Morino, based largely upon his book, The Existentialist Survival Guide. Now, Gordon Morino is one of our leading Kierkegaard scholars. He is in charge of a Kierkegaard library at St. Olaf College in Minnesota. Makes sense because Kierkegaard was Danish, and we have many people from that part of the world who settled that region of the country around uh, Minnesota, the upper Midwest. In any case, uh, well, Reno is a very interesting individual, I, I, I hope you'll, you'll find. Please take a close look at these class notes. Uh, especially if you've been involved in athletics, as many of our students have, uh, Gordon Marino, uh, before he became an academic, was a college football player. And after he finished with football, he became involved, he became involved in boxing, both at the amateur and professional levels. And he discusses several of the experiences that he's had in sports, both football and boxing. And I hope that would be of interest to all of our students, especially those of you who are student athletes, as many of our students are. So I hope that you will take a look at that. I think you'll find it interesting. And uh, if you, if you, if it occurs to you, if, it, if you're so moved, let me know what you think of this material. This is something new in the course that I just introduced over the summer. Next week, we'll have quiz number four, and I'll say more to you about that in about a week's time. We'll be moving on to considerations of ethics. And what we have assigned for quiz four, you may begin looking at it if you wish. Issues related to the ethics of medical treatment during the coronavirus pandemic, especially if and when the question were to arise that we possibly could not treat everybody. Who should get treatment and who should be denied it? How should we handle, handle that ethical question? Uh, now, the material you have to look at and we'll say more about this next week, goes back to the spring, uh, March and April, when we were afraid there was going to be a shortage of ventilators. It turned out that that shortage didn't really materialize, I don't believe. But still, uh, the issues will come up, or they very well may, if you are in the medical profession, especially nursing, as I know many of our students are, many of our students are nursing majors. But I hope that material will be of interest to you whether you are a nursing major or not. That's getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. We'll say more about that in a week's time because we'll be taking the quiz on that material next week. So for this week, we have Gordon Marino and existentialism on the syllabus. So I hope you will take a look at those class notes. I hope that they will provide interesting food for thought. So let me know what you think about that if you get a chance. And we will talk you, to you again at about this time next week. Take it easy.